Hi friends, it's Judy and it's time for guard rail number five. We are doing Wendy Shade's Greater Freedom 1.0 and it's been so fun learning these Bible verses with my family, with my grandchildren. 36 Bible verses and if you stay inside these guardrails of life that God's given us. Well, this one's very happy because look at this picture of the kids. They got their hands in the air. Why? It says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Psalm 107 verse 2. So let's look at the book of Psalms. Yep, there's the music note. One of them's closed, one's open. So one O and seven hands in the air. Psalm 107. And look at this little girl has a yellow bow and a green bow, two bows. So my little Sophia, she goes, Grandma, that's me. Two bows. So Psalm 107, seven hands in the air. Verse two, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Psalm 107 too. And you know what? What does say so mean? It means sharing our faith with others, like Lydia Owens in 2023. She said so during her valedictorian speech, how God helped her through the hard time when her mother died. Say so also speaks on social issues. Speak with your pocketbook. Do your best to avoid supporting businesses that endorse um, ungodly lifestyles. And I really appreciate the story about Dietrich Bonhoeffer here in The Principle in Action. Pastors are to use their platforms to address the issues of the day. In 1934, Dietrich Bonhoeffer denounced Hitler's attack on the Jews. Unfortunately, 12,000 pastors refused to join him and their silence cost him and 11 million others their lives during World War II. So you know what, there comes a time to say so. Put up your hand and say so. Yes, I belong to Jesus. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Psalm 107, verse two, those two cute little bows that Sophia has in the back of her hair. Ready? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Psalm 107 verse 2. Oh yeah. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so.